If you but have faith the size of a grain of a mustard seed, that don't work for you anything. Sometimes you need more than that. Sometimes you need more faith than that little bitty grain of mustard seed. Sometimes you got to ele Here's what they say. Shift the gear. Because this situation you're in now, the mustard seed won't help you. You need to shift the gear and go a little bit further and trust God beyond what you can see. Because guess what I found out, Tyrone? I can't always sit down a row, but God knows what's going on down there before I get there. And sometimes you say, I'm running late. I say, you ain't running late. I just don't want you in that mess. Hello, somebody. So here we are, not in a position to talk about nobody, but you got to remember to present your own. As a living sacrifice. And then you get a warning. Don't be conformed to this world. Now, wait a minute. You say you've been born again. Why you want to still act like the world? Hey, listen. I don't care what the world's doing. God placed me as the steward over here. I'm not going to let the world come in here and take over this church. If I do, this what's going to happen. God's going to get rid of me. You ain't got to listen. To, we got to get rid of him. You ain't got to get rid of nobody. God will do it. Yeah, that's right. I, I mean, that's even in your home, on your job, whatever you deal with in your life. Here's what you got to learn how to do. First of all, get yourself together. Amen. Get yourself lined up right. And then when you get lined up right, and then when you say you're going to pass judgment on somebody, you have the ability through righteous judgment to get them right because you see God. And his direction. And when you see God in his direction, you have the authority to direct somebody else. But ain't none of you trying to direct me and you lost to Blind lead the blind. Y'all know we know somebody that blind lead the blind. Where you going? I don't know. We just bumping in the walls. It's going on everywhere. And I'm talking about people's eyes wide right open. No, some ain't right. He likes me, and so I'm gonna just go along with it. Mm. If I'm wrong, you better not go along with it. Mm. You better walk up to the pastor, come in and talk to you. Right. Make sure you talk to me kind of nice now. Mm. If you're barking at me, you're lost already. Right. It's anybody, anybody you want to talk to when the Lord says go talk to him. You don't run up on nobody like you're finna knock them out. Amen. You can talk to anybody. I mean, ain't nobody above being talked to. That's right. But when you do it, make sure you. Listen, and here's what you got to remember. Always have love in your eyes when you're trying to help somebody. Now, if you go to just tell them off, then you're already in trouble. Amen. 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 Be not conformed to this world, be transformed by the little man. Okay? Okay, I didn't want to go there, Lord. All right. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. He said, just throw that out there. Everybody ain't got the same office. Yeah. And what you got to embrace, he is the answer. Mm -hmm. And no matter what is thrown at you as a marker, mm -hmm. being marked, remember he's the answer. Mm -hmm. There is still forbidden fruit. Mm -hmm. And we have to silence the market birds. Mm -hmm. But the best way to silence them is with love yes. and grace and compassion. Now I'm finna go. But Jones, I gotta go. All right. Verse 24. Back in June. Mm -hmm. Now unto him. Oh, I love this. That is able to keep you from falling. And to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Anybody here happy you know who Jesus is? Is anybody in here really happy that you understand no matter how dark it gets in your life? And he walks with me and he talks with me and he 
It don't make no difference who else throw you away. If God says you're his own, you got the best one you can have. Amen. Oh, oh folks, don't talk to God. I ain't studying him no more. I don't like him no more. But I hear somebody saying, yes, Jesus loves you. For the Bible tells me so. You know, the Bible told me so, but I found out when I was going through my lonely hours in the midnight, I had somebody keeping me company, and I looked around the room, and there wasn't nobody physical there. But I could hear and feel the presence of a God that said, behold, I stand at the door, and I'm knocking. Come on in, Murray. Well, I'll talk to y'all going to Y'all come on in, because here's the other door you went to wasn't where I told you to go. Come on in. Yeah. Now watch this, Brother Jones. When you enter into his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise, and you have the mindset to be thankful unto him, and you start blessing his name, you might be feeling bad when you come into the house of the Lord, but if you put your mind on the grace of God, I don't feel like I want to feel. I don't have the power I want to have. But I thank God that if it wasn't for Jesus, I could have been dead a long time ago. I hear somebody say, and he walks with me, and he talks with me, and I'm so glad, Shirley, he tells me, come here, Tommy. You don't know, uh, Tyrone, lift up your heads, uh, oh ye gates, uh, and be ye lifted up, uh, the everlasting doors. Watch this for the lame. And the King of Glory, the King of Glory, the King of Glory, not the King of Gossip, not the King of Lies, but the King of Glory. The one that sent his only begotten son who said, I need somebody to go down and bridge the gap between me and man. And so Jesus said, Here I am. Lord, I'm ready. So he went there, Paul, Pastor Spearman, Dr. Paul Allen Spearman. He went there and he hung from the sixth to the ninth hour. He locked his head. He done it for you, Brother Glenn. He done it for you, Brother Tom. And I ain't gonna leave you out any far. He done it for you. And if anybody say you didn't call my name, just say he done it for me too. And I'm so glad that Jesus found enough of me, David, that he said I got to hang here because in 2020 it's gonna be a virus in the land. Somebody don't need to know, and they might talk about you, but you got to hold on to God's unchanging hand. We've been there, endure for a night. But joy, you got to look for it. You so busy looking for. But you gotta look for joy. Yeah. And you know what I find out on top? When you look for joy, he'll walk right in your path. He'll say, Here I am. Yes. Yes. So let him mark you. Yes. Just be you. Yes. you. And the best way to silence a mark mm -hmm. is don't pay him no attention. Because see, your assignment ain't me. that ain't your assignment. You can't make nobody do nothing. Amen. You do good, your own self trying to listen. Yes. Why do you think you're going to make somebody else listen? Mm -hmm. Told you five times to do something, you listen on the fifth time. Yeah. And then you're going to get mad at somebody because you told them once and they ain't doing it. Here's what we got to do have compassion and pray one for another. Yeah. And let me tell you something you ain't going to never get through praying for one another. Yeah. Because when he deliver one somebody, here comes somebody else with two things that they didn't have, and you got to pray about that. And then watch it. When you pray, you got to say, Lord, what can I do to encourage them? Yeah. Yeah. Be 
folks up because they still drink beer. And you got all that wine coolers in your fridge, buddy. <laughs> Why are you talking about somebody? And if you don't do that, it's so they, they all got something. But now, wait a minute. Stop using the excuse. Yes. He's working on me. Yeah, he working on me. If you say you're going to walk in the statutes of the Lord, your desire ought to be to be better. If you smoke cigarettes or whatever you do, if you lie, whatever you do, if you eat too much, whatever you do, if you know you ain't got to be eating this stuff like that, and whatever you do, you got to all work on me. Amen. Amen. And everybody else say out. Because it applies to all of us. And let me say something to you. We come to the house of the Lord sometimes, no enthusiasm. No, I hear Mother Jones. I hear that. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? When I think, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, everything he's doing for me, my soul cries out, Hallelujah! Sometimes you gotta hold Hallelujah. Sometimes. In your life. It don't make no difference. If ain't nobody paying no attention to you, you ought to be praising God for what he's doing for you. Amen. Amen. Then when you grow up in the shed, you ought to start praising God for how he blessed your family, how he blessed your sister, how he blessed your brother, how he blessed that stranger that you ain't see. He ain't that right. But look at that car he ran. And you ought to say, Lord, I just thank you. I want you to bring him in, deliver him. And when he come in, I don't want nobody to turn around, rolling out. Where you come from? All of us used to be something else. We all ex cons. We are all ex cons. But I thank God. I'm saved. I don't know how to I'm sanctified. I might not have, I can't do like you do, but I got my own. Yeah, I got mine. But you know what I thank God for? What he do his, I can praise God for him praising God for what God doing to him. Amen. Hey, look. Oh, look what he do. He thanking God. What you do? He's so at And why are you saying, oh, God, take your throat. Choke him. Thank God for what he don't bless you with. Amen. Don't you mock nobody's praise. And I think, stop judging folks' praise. I'll be guilty. God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll be guilty. Because one thing you got to understand, you wasn't there when the Lord would put her in the heart. You know, Pastor Phil and I witnessed it. We saw it with our own two eyes. She come out of that surgery. And the guy there messing with her in the room. And she looked up and she said, I'm all right. Yeah. She didn't have glasses on. But she knew her. I was really concerned about it. I didn't want to lie. I didn't want to tell her. I told her I didn't want to have that. Right. She said, Lord, got me. See, what God will do is take somebody else's situation and help you grow up in Him. Right. You thought you was grown, but He said, I'm going to show you some help. I'm going to let you grow up a little bit more. Watch what I'm going to do for this 86 year old lady. I'm going to show you what all of my power is all about. Brother Jones, come out there, sir. Jones, I will lift my eyes. 
to the hills from which cometh my help. And I ain't just reading the scripture. I'm telling you, I remember he helped me in December 2017. I remember in March 2018, he helped me. I remember in May 2018, he helped me. And I remember this morning, he helped me. Let me look on here and see. 12 o'clock. My throat was closed. But it's over now. Now, Larry, you ain't gonna talk about no work of words today. You gonna have to tell Dr. Spearman get up here. And Lord say, this don't you sing, don't you try to sing that be quiet, just sit there. I'm working. Sometimes you got to sit down and this thing. And then my beloved cousin said, How you both doing? You want people to love you and care how you feel? Yeah. God hears that. Amen. And let me tell you, do y'all realize you ain't always got to pray? Sometimes you just got to acknowledge. Amen. You ain't got to be saying, Oh, oh, Trey T. McCall, can you watch out? Can you come out? Sometimes you say, I know God needs to touch you. And guess what? Just that word right there made him move. Right. Oh, what? Right. Hush! Huh. Hush! Yes, Somebody call him on that. Yeah, 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 you know, when we get that, he thought he was calling on our knees. No, call him Jesus. Huh. Huh. Somebody call him Jesus. Thank you. So somebody on the internet who needs God to touch him. Call. We might not know what you need, but if you call, he'll show up. One thing I know about the God we serve, he ain't got no hearing aid on. He can hear our whisper. Watch this, what I find out, Pastor Skip. If I can't utter a word, he can hear the desires of my heart. And I thank God that he allows me to sight. Because I am and you are forbidden fruits. Yeah. You gotta know that for yourself. Yeah. You don't care about your honor, you forbidden fruits. Yeah. You ain't gonna have to walk up on me if you wanna. Hmm. You might you might do some bodily harm to me. But as soon as you do, God gonna get you. Yeah. And matter of fact, when you start swinging, he's gonna get you. Hello. Yeah, see, see what's wrong with us? We say that stuff, but we don't really believe it. You got to reach out and trust, 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 trust God. I trust Him, Tracy. I trust God. I trust God. All these guys talking last night about life, but you know what God told me? He said, "I had you then. I surely got you now." And see, even when you are delivered and set free, get ready. Because another attack is coming. But what happens, darling, the old folks said, You not to temptation. Watch this. 
we got to be this way. Amen. I don't care. I'm going to say it until I can turn blue on face. We got to stay together. And sometimes while we're together, we ain't going to agree about everything. But you got to go to Isaiah 1 and 18. Come now, let us reason together, say the Lord, though your sin be a scarlet, he shall wash that white as snow. Amen. And if you express your opinion, you ain't got to get huffed and puffy. Right. Everybody got one. Amen. And sometimes, if we listen, when somebody is saying something that you don't want to hear, if you listen, God will say, that's what I want you to hear. Amen. That's what I want you to hear. I listen to them. And they've helped me a whole bunch. You know what? I, my pastor listened to me. They don't make me here's one, here's our problem. We think in the church that we got some seniority and all that stuff. But if you're in all the Lord, we all together. Amen. And guess what? You know, I preach that up in baby. I'm not the captain of the ship. I'm a soldier. You yeah, ain't you a soldier? And in, in, in the church, there ain't no generals in the church. It can't be talking about, no, oh, another general has fallen. <laughs> I asked him one time, I said, so y'all go in there? I said, he preached five years. I've been preaching for uh, I guess I'm a proud. <laughs> he, you, know, he, 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 you know, you know, like you go to college and you go on and you automatically go in as a single lieutenant. Yo, come on now. You go to college, but you. You go to college, you learn, you, uh, you went to college for journalism, but they stick you out there in, in infantry. Would you go read a book to the end? <laughs> Come on now. Thank you, Jesus, for letting me be a vessel in the kingdom of the Lord. Come on, clap your hands. I'm done, sister. God bless everybody. We're praying for you. Uh, we back to church Wednesday night. And I didn't say Bible study. I said church. What did you call it? Worship and word. Amen. Worship and word. So you ought to come with these expectations. I mean, we don't stay here for about uh, 45 minutes to an hour. And first of all, y'all worried about who's going to win the championship? It's already, it's like they already got to set up LeBron and going to win. It's already set up. <laughs> it's already set up. I don't even know why you're watching the game. It's already set up. But here's what you need to remember. Who gave you salvation? Amen. That's right. Who gave you everything you need in your life? We got to embrace the church. I'm telling y'all something. I'm listening. Y'all can fool around if y'all want to. Because this church fit to move. Y'all can fool around if y'all want to. When they have I ain't no hot blood. When they have Okay, you're going to miss something. But we've been to move. Oh, we're going back Wednesday night, worship the word. Then we're going to start twice a month, eating the service on Sunday. And we're going to feed y'all. We're going to feed y'all. Because, you know, surely they like food. You know, we, we said we're going we said we to talk about what we're going to do next year. Surely we're going to have some food. <laughs> David, I'm praying for you. Sure, we're going to have some food. So let's just come together and we're going to do the will of God. Because I'm telling you, there is some great blessings in the atmosphere. I don't know about, you know, you ever see how they have that when you want to represent somebody that died and they have all their balloons and they go up? God got some balloons that's coming down with some stuff for us. You better grab it. You better grab it. But it ain't got no helium in it. It's got some Holy Spirit in it. It's going to drop down. And uh, Shirley, that's your balloon. That's a real balloon. That's your balloon. I say, Shirley, Jones Wood, that's your balloon. Shirley, grab that balloon. Yeah. And, 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 and if, if I try to grab Shirley balloon, the Lord will say, that ain't none of your balloon. Your balloon purple. Yeah. Don't try to grab somebody else's blessing. Yeah. And then when you see somebody else's blessing, come on. Thank you for blessing my sister. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Doing it. I don't know I'm doing all this stuff, man. <laughs> uh -uh. He already knows that's in your heart. That's why you miss it. You ain't no fair expression. You has got your package. All right, God bless you. I'm praying for everybody. I love everybody. It ain't nothing you can do about. Because I'm going to listen, God. If I got a whisper, I don't know no sign language. 
But I know how to boast and let you know I'm talking about Jesus. <laughs> Get down on the side. <laughs> what I say? Got the whole world in his hand. Right. Ain't you in the world? Yeah. We got you. Here's what you want to do. Give it to him. Amen. I'm tired. That's what he waiting on you to get tired. Amen. Get tired and get out the way. Oh, get tired and get out the way. 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 I think I might talk about that Wednesday. Get tired and get out the way. All right, I'm done. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Everybody in here, whatever you're dealing with, whatever you're going through, you already know the answer. You know who is your provider, your supplier, your sustainer. And here's the guess. Here's the one. Here, he's your redeemer. Your Savior. Thank you. And he's a healer. Yes. yes. You're looking at a, you know, uh, I can't think of which one it is. Deacon Booker's son. They love me. They call me their brother. He sees me say, here come my miracle brother. <laughs> and I said, here's my miracle brother. He said, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Every one of us are a miracle. <laughs> Some of us just have different type of miracles. Right. But every one of us, I mean, anybody here went to the doctor and he had to cut on you or anything? Mm -hmm. And you, you were able to come out of there even though sometimes they bought you? <laughs> the, young, the guy that was sitting here Friday night, he went out and he was riding the chair down. He said, Bishop, God spoke to me and he told me, I need you here. I just looked at him. He said, I've had 26 operations. Mm -hmm. He said, I have had nine knee replacements, mm -hmm. six hip surgery, mm -hmm. had to operate on my eyes about eight times. He said, I'm going to praise God. Amen. And Mother Lane told me yesterday, she saw him. Yeah. He took off running. Yeah. He didn't use no crutches as no excuse. Yeah. He took all run because he said, God being good to me, he didn't let me die. Yeah. I could have been dead, but he wouldn't let me die. So why can't I praise him? Well, I don't know what that song was, but that man was singing. Yeah. And he was singing from the depths of his heart because you've got to praise God. Yeah. Yeah. They say, have you talked to God today? Yeah. Boy, ain't that deep? Yeah. Have you talked to God today? So when you go out the door, I want you to be aware all things you encounter are going to be angels. Amen. But you be the angel yeah, yeah. and not the devil. Because yeah, yeah. God wants to bless you and wants you to bless somebody else. Amen. 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 I'm really done. I got to sit down. I'm soaking wet. But I thank God I don't feel not one ache in my throat. And I look back. But I'm telling y'all, you know, the problem is, first lady waiting on October to turn on some heat, and I was freezing. <laughs> and I went to no October. I'm freezing. No, Lord. And at 40 degrees, what you waiting on to get to 30? <laughs> and then look, no, no, then look, here she go. She walked to the house. We ain't turn on no heat. <laughs> You are balling up now. You ain't turn on no heat yet. Yeah. Hey, look. Had a roll. Look at you. Had a roll. Uh uh. Yeah, uh uh. I ain't freezing or getting hot. No. All right, y'all stand on your feet. Praise the Lord. Amen. We thank God. we praying for everybody. We're praying for Cassandra, praying for Rachel and Terry. Uh, yesterday they had the service for the mother. Let me tell y'all something. If you have not lost your mom, that's a different type of wake up call. Amen. Amen. Woo. Woo. You'll never be the same. I don't get nobody to tell you. And time don't heal nothing. Amen. Nope. You just get distracted. But it's still there. So it's very fresh. Pray for those young ladies and let's be there for them. 
Because sometimes they don't need nothing but a hug. Amen. 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 We thank God for Mother Lane. She know I love her. Amen. You know, Lord have mercy. We biggest thieves. I don't call everybody on the phone every day. I'm going to do better. I promise y'all I'm going to do better. I don't talk on the phone, but I'm going to do better. Because uh, it's a need. Sometimes people just need to hear a voice. I'm going to do better, Mother Jones. Amen. Y'all thank God for the church mother. Let's pray for everybody. This they ain't got to belong in this church. If you know somebody going through something, let us know. Let's pray for them. Amen. Uh, whoever the sister in the shed was talking about, we don't need to know their name. Lord, bless whoever in the shed was talking about. Amen. Amen. And pray for all our kids, wherever they are. Because we don't know what they face. Because sometimes they ain't going to tell us everything. Right. Amen. Amen. But let God cover yeah. like he's covered us. Yeah. And we're going to be all right. God bless you. All right. You, you know what you got to do? Thank you.